This is it, the big day. Did you get any sleep? Yeah, I went to bed at 1 a.m. or so. Oh, what time did you wake up? 3 a.m. That's only two hours, Apollo. But at least you have me. And the amazing Mr. Hat. Here's looking at you, kid. Good... Good luck today, Apollo. That... That voice... Oh yeah, get any sleep? Mr. Wright! I was going out of my mind with boredom, so I saw myself out earlier today. Somehow the place makes fake piano playing at the Indochine Paso joint seem almost fun. Daddy, do you know who Prosecutor Gavin's witness is today? Take a guess. Hmm... How about Little Plum? <laughs> that Sherman tank of a mom? Nope. Guess again. That's too bad. You know, speaking of moms, you need to find me a new mommy one of these days, Daddy. It's barely morning and you're at it already, Trissy. <laughs> okay, see, this is why I don't buy their father-daughter relationship. So, Mr. Wright, do you know who the prosecution's witness is? Alita Tiawa, your client's fiance. She's going to be a witness? That seems odd. Why would she testify against her own fiancé? You have to wonder what Gavin's up to. Something's going down today. That much is clear. Well, not to worry. I've got my panties back. If we can't find a killer, I'll pull one out of there. <sighs> Somehow, I don't think that's gonna work. Court is now in session for the trial of Waki Kotaki. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Prosecution has warmed up, and it's assault at and it's assault at house. Very well. To recap, while yesterday's witness seemed more guilty than any other party, guilty of panty snatching, we did find out one thing for certain: there were three people in the park at the time of the murder: the witness, the victim, and the defendant. Correct, Herr Judge. And today, I'd like to do something a little new age. I'd like to look at this horrible crime from the outside. The outside? The acquisition of the murder weapon, the preparation for the act, our poor defendant told all, you see. To his betrothed. His betrothed? His fiancé, Herr Judge. His partner for life, with no chance for parole. Very well. You may show the, um, lucky lady to the stand. Your name and occupation, Fraulein? Alila Tiala. My occupation is future wife. Ah, traditional values. I respect that. Too many brides these days can't even weave baskets blindfolded. Underwater. Yet you are here today as a witness for the prosecution? To be honest, I didn't want to testify at first, but I couldn't hide the truth. Mm, honesty, another admirable trait. Fraulein, is it true that on the day of the crime, the defendant Waki Kataki confessed his plans? His plans for murder? Yes. The witness will please give her testimony to the court. Mm. Okay, let's hear it. It was the day that the family health checkup results came back. When Walkie found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols. And you already know what happened that night. I just don't see how anyone but Walkie could have done it. I can think of another one. So, the pistol did belong to the Kotaki family, then? Yes. With regards to this, an investigation is underway at the Kotaki mansion. On charges of the, of the possession of illegal firearms. And the bullet that took the victim's life? Was it... Fired from the pistol the defendant procured? Yes, this has been proven. How can you prove something like that? Bullets carry marks from the barrel that fired them, called rifling marks. Rifling marks? Think of them as being a gun's fingerprint left on every bullet it fires. And when did you first hear about Walkie's plan? It was the day of the murder. I... 
I should have stopped him. I just didn't think he would actually do it. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Okay, here we go. It was the day that the family health checkup results came back. That was the day of the murder, correct? Yes, everyone in the family received their checkup results that day. When Walkie look at, looked at his, his face went so pale. But of course, he had just found out he had a bullet in his chest. So, you were there at the time? Yes, poor Walkie. When Walkie found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. That must have been, um, quite frightening. He was furious. He ripped his report up into shreds. Incidentally, I had to request another copy to file as evidence. I bothered some char, but Van I performed without complaint. Walkie is at an age where he's hard to control when he loses his temper. Of course, that little bit of instability is so cute. Great, now he sounds like a psychopath. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols. So, is it easy to take a pistol out from the house? Not really, I think. There's a system in place to limit access. But Walkie is a special case. Being the next in line. Perhaps his treatment was a bit too special, yeah? Well, maybe he's a bit spoiled. I hear he got amazing presents for his birthdays. Last year was a switchblade made out of chewing gum and a chocolate gravestone. Sounds like he has a taste for sweets and danger. The point here being that Walkie had access to a pistol. Thanks. And you already know what happened that night. What happened? Meaning the murder? I tried to stop him, I really did. But Walkie wouldn't listen. Our defendant was nothing if not determined, it seems. The last thing you should do is blame yourself, miss. I just don't see how anyone but Walkie could have done it. How can you say that for certain? How? Uh, Herr Forhat, do you refrain from badgering the Fraulein? It was a defendant, um, Waki, was it, who took the pistol from his home. We know this for a fact now. I suppose we do. So, how could anyone else have used this pistol to shoot the victim? They could not. Simple logic, yeah? That does seem to be the case. Does the defense have anything to say regarding this point? someone else have used that pistol? Based on your testimony, there was clearly another. One other person had access to that pistol. What's this? Hmm, interesting. Let's ask the defense then. Tell the court who this other person with access was. Uh, I don't know. You? Well, of course, I mean, you, Miss Tiala. Me? But why? You were quite clear when he told the court you heard about the pistol from the defendant on the day of the murder. In other words, you knew what he was planning. Objection. Let me get this straight. You intend to tell us that this lady stole the pistol from her fiancé and killed the man in cold blood on his behalf? I've heard of people doing strange things for love, but this... It does seem a bit... Uh, unfathomable, to be sure. I'm all for romance and for supporting your partner in life, to be sure. But I think I would hesitate at murder. I'd hope you'd do more than hesitate. But what if a different connection could be proven? A connection between the witness and the victim. We might find that she had a personal motive beyond wanting to help her fiancé. Hmm, that would put things in a slightly different light. What possible connection are you suggesting here? You know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think that the police never looked inside that safe. I have evidence showing a connection between the witness, Miss Tiala, and the victim. That looks like a medical chart? Found inside a safe at the Maractus Clinic. I'd like to draw the court's attention to the names written on the chart. What? Miss Tiala? What are, why is your name on this chart? Well, care to explain the meaning of this, Miss Tiala? 
I'm not sure what you mean by meaning, Mr. Justice. Ooh, our warm little fiancé just froze over. I was on staff at that clinic until half a year ago. It was boring, so I quit. That's all. Is there a problem with that? Miss Yala, you testified that you had no connection to the victim. And I don't. Now? Now? I quit half a year ago, didn't I? So there is no connection. Let me guess, you're the kind of guy who can't rest until he knows every last detail of his girlfriend's past? Am I right? That's not true at all! Why, I, I embrace the ones I love, past flaws and all. There's no connection now. Doesn't fly in a court of law. Doesn't fly? She's one tough nut. She probably feels right at home with the Kentuckys. You left your job at the Maractus Clinic, true, but you remain connected somehow. Very well, Mr. Justice. Show us evidence that proves the witness is still connected to the Maractus Clinic. Um... Still connected? <laughs> These sandals were found in the Maractus Clinic lobby. They're yours, aren't they? Well, who knows? I'm sure there are lots of people with those sandals. So sorry, Fraulein, but your act isn't working. <laughs> your moment of hesitation does not cost you. What's with you? I thought you were on my side. Perhaps you are unaware of the toes leave tall prints? A simple analysis of these sandals will reveal all. Well, now we see your true colors. I was wrong to cooperate with you from the beginning. I just wanted... I just wanted you to help get Walkie back on the straight and narrow. Hmm. This girl thinks you need to worry less about Walkie and more about yourself. Sounds as though we need to hear a bit more about your story. Your sandals were found in the entrance to the clinic, which means you went there on the day of the murder. Well, there is little point in denying it. Very well. The witness will tell us about this visit. Why did you go to the Maractus Clinic that day? Alright, here we go. We're getting somewhere now. I did go to the clinic that day. My first time in half a year. Since I quit in January. I went to warn him. After all, I knew Walkie had the pistol. The doctor always was a timid man. Too timid to admit his own mistakes. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. I wanted to tell him to be careful, as an old friend. By mistake, you mean... the mistake we heard about from the defendant? The botched operation? He was a timid small man, but I never wished him harm. I just thought I should let him know, you know? Hmm, that does make sense. Yes, but there is still one thing which does not. What's that, Prosecutor Gavin? The Sanders left in the lobby, of course. We can assume she wore the Sanders to the clinic, yeah? Then why did she not wear them home? If it were me, I would have worn them home. I would have worn those Sanders home, too. So, <clears throat> so why were the Sanders left behind? <laughs> Ack! He pointed out the contradiction before me! There's probably a good explanation for this, right, Mr. Yala? Say, for instance... There happened to be a similar pair of sandals there, which you wore home by mistake? Actually, that's right. I'm impressed, Mr. Gavin. Oh, it is nothing. There is, after all, no other possible explanation. Yeah, for her? Oh, what the? No fair! He's filling the holes in her testimony. I wanted to fill her holes. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Hmm. I did go to the clinic that day, my first term in half a year since I quit in January. Around what time did you go to the clinic? I don't remember exactly, but it was after 9.30, I think. And that was the first time you had c contacted Dr. Maractus in half a year? Of course it was. He wasn't the kind of boss you made friends with. So, why did you go to the clinic that day? I went to warn him. After all, I knew Walkie had the pistol. Did you want Dr. Moractus to run away? Well, after I failed to stop Walkie, 
I thought that was the only other way to avoid the problem. Couldn't you have called? Why go in person? I called several times that evening, but no one was in. The victim was busy driving home until 9pm that night, remember? This was proven by this mirror yesterday, yeah? I thought if I warned him, he would run away for sure, knowing the doctor. Doctor always was a timid man, too timid to admit his own mistake. You mean that act of malpractice on Waki, correct? If he had just told Waki the truth in the beginning, none of this would have happened. True, that operation was the start of this whole affair. Oh, of course, if he had told him, he might have been erased by the Kitakis much earlier. A disturbing thought! If he knows that the Maractus Clinic had ties to the Kitaki family, he probably couldn't have gone to the police, even if he wanted to. That's why I knew I had to warn him. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. No dark secrets, eh? What? Look at me however you want, Mr. Justice. You won't find a thing. She's hiding something. I know it. I must have some evidence that proves it, too. You're free to think whatever you like. I went to that clinic with only one thought in mind. I wanted to tell him to be careful, as an old friend. But then you'd be betraying Waki, wouldn't you? No, I did it for him, for us. She went to warn him so that her fiancé would not have to commit such a crime, yeah? I didn't want them to take my Waki away. There's no way she went to that clinic just to warn him. Do you know why she went to Polo? Time to figure out what really happened at that clinic. And fast. Hmm. So, I guess the answer is what? To... Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Do we do we present the bullet or do we present the chart again? I think the bullet is more concrete. Objection. Your Honor, that statement contradicts his evidence. But it does. I don't see anything contradictory. Um, you sure about that? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Justice. Ah, uh, that didn't go so well. Hmm. Okay, maybe we should save here. Um, I don't know. Why else would I have gone to to hide the evidence? I guess. The chart? Objection. Oh, come on. They both work. They both should have worked. Alright, whatever. <clears throat> this chart was found inside a safe in the doctor's office. Yes? Why would this one chart be in that safe? Miss Diala, you know why it was... You know why it was, don't you? <laughs> By it filling me in? Dr. Maractus didn't have the leisure of making mistakes. That's why he wrote up a false report and kept the truth locked away. Bad hair, Doctor. And this is where you come in, Miss Tiala. The nurse who filed this chart was you, which means you knew about Waki's failed operation. Interesting. You were in the same position as Dr. Moractus. Kinda makes it hard to claim no connection, doesn't it? Okay, fine. You're bold for a novice, I'll give you that. Mr. Justice, you must know I was only a nurse. The doctor is responsible for the chart's contents. Hmm, this chart business seems to be quite important. Please amend your testimony accordingly. Too bad, little attorney. <coughs> My bracelet's reacting again. What is it, Apollo? I felt my bracelet tighten just now. Your bracelet? Just like yesterday. Like you said. When a witness is unsure of something, their nervous habit gives them away. But I can't see anything, Apollo. Eh? 
And what's my bracelet reacting to? Wait, maybe? Yes, that has to be it. What has to be it? Your senses, Apollo. They must be sharper than mine. Huh? I can't see it, but you can sense it. I don't know about that, Juicy. I don't have some kind of special power or anything. Listen to me, Apollo. There's a weak point somewhere in Miss Tiala's testimony. But we don't know what her nervous habit is. Well, then what we do? What do we do? You have to perceive it to yourself, Apollo, with your eyes and your senses. Then it's up to me and my bracelet. I don't know why, but the bracelet helps. Somehow, touching it helps me focus. Let's give it a shot and bring that bring down that testimony. Why would I go to the clinic now for a half year half year old chart? But your signature was on that chart. So, what does that have to do with this case? If there was something in that chart to make me look bad, I would have dealt with it. The only one responsible for that chart is the presiding doctor, Dr. Maractus. She's hiding something. I can smell it. And I bet she's got a habit that gives it away. I just have to focus to find her nervous habit. Maybe it's time to give my bracelet a rub. Ah. Gotcha. She's fiddling with her ring. Why go to the clinic for a half-year-old chart now, you ask? But you know why you would go now. What? But you know why you would go now, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. It was quite clear, Miss Tiala. You have a nervous habit. The moment you said the word now... You used your right thumb to fiddle with your ring. Wh what? She was unsure. I saw it. Now. That's the key word. The chart wasn't a part of your past. It was a clear and present threat. That's ridiculous. Why, if that were the case, I would have had six months to do something about it. Indeed. Eh? Which means something happened quite recently. Something to make that chart a problem for you now. I've got her on the ropes now, I can feel it! Time to strike the killing blow! With evidence! Miss Tiala, there is no use trying to hide it. A charm became a threat to you now because of... This! A health checkup report belonging to the defendant. The Kitakis are trying to get out of the business. The health checkup this month was their first ever. What did you think when you heard about this? Hey? Oh, n nothing. Why should I think anything? Oh, I would think you were positively, be positively beside yourself. Because you were afraid. You knew what Waki's chest x-ray would reveal. <coughs> a full hel a full half year had passed since the operation. You thought you were home free. When the chart came back to haunt you. Eek! That's all, Your Honor. What? What just happened? Did the witness just admit to lying? I sensed it. There was a great aura emanating from her forehead. Very cool. So, the lady was lying, it seems. That's correct. She said she had no connection to the Maractus Clinic, but her connection was deep indeed. A bit too deep. If the Kitaki's got a hold of this chart with her name, she'd be finished. Isn't that right, Miss Tiala? <laughs> you guessed it. Order! Order! I did it. I broke her testimony. Amazing, Apollo. I didn't see it at all. Daddy was right about you. Wait! Miss Tiala? It's true, that chart was bad news for me. That's why I went to meet the doctor that day. 
But that's all! I told him about walking and went home! It appears this cross-examination is far from over. Wh what? She hid the truth from us, that is clear. Yet, it is not clear that this truth has anything to do with the case at hand. Mmm. Very well, the witness will add this to her testimony. And we'll have a bit more cross-examination. Grr, I was so close. You're still close. Keep on her, Apollo. Nothing happened at all. I warned him and left. How did Dr. Maractus respond to the warning? Oh, he was quite surprised. Panicky, even. Who wouldn't be scared to learn a Kitaki was after him? Incidentally, this court is not afraid of any mobsters. Why, we had a life-threatening situation just yesterday, right here in this courtroom. Yeah, real impressive the way you stood up to the attack of the amazing Mr. Hat, sir. After which I carried you back to your chambers. Sounds like the judge had quite a fright. Nothing happened in Dr. Maractus' office that day, huh? But what about the mess we found? Something definitely happened in that office, Apollo. I know, I know. But we can't prove when it happened nor that Elita Tiala was in any way involved. Well, let's try putting some evidence up anyway. There's no way she went to that clinic just to warn him. Do you know why she went, Apollo? Time to figure out what really happened in that clinic, and fast. Okay, so now the bullet. Let's try the bullet again. You say nothing happened in the doctor's office. I disagree. Take a look at this. What's that? It looks like a squished up ball of clay. Kind of like you, actually. This bullet was found in the Moractus Clinic office. Something did happen in that office, Miss Diala. Enough of this joking around. The police investigated that clinic. Ah, but this was stuck inside the doctor's safe. Inside the safe? I guess the police didn't check that far. Objection! But there's a problem. How can you say that that bullet was fired on that day? Objection! Weren't you the one who explained rifling marks to us? <laughs> the pistol was taken from the Kitaki mansion that day. If the marks on this bullet match the murder weapon, then that proves the firearm was discharged in that office on the day of the murder. <laughs> and not bad, half forehead. Bailiff, have this bullet analyzed immediately. Okay. Is this is gonna take long? Oh. 30 minutes later, a report arrives. The rifling marks on both bullets are identical. Well, it seems as though the bullet in the safe was fired from the murder weapon. Perhaps the defense would like to state their position? The bullet in that safe proves one fact. A pistol was fired in that office on that day. And at the time of the firing, the safe was open. The safe which contained the top secret chart. Do you think someone was threatening Dr. Maractus? In order to open the safe? Only one person was in a position to do such a thing. Our witness, Alita Tiala. Order! 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 Mr. Justice, where are you going with this? Are you accusing the witness? Alita Tiala knew about Waki Kitaki's botched operation. She got engaged to him without telling him about it. As long as that bullet remained in his chest, his days were numbered. What if she married him and the, the bullet finally reached its destination? Wh what? That reminds me. Apparently, the Kitakis have been asserting themselves in lawful business practices. They're making quite a great deal of money. A fortune, if you will. Nefarious! So she planned to marry him just to get her hands on this fortune. You keep talking trash about my leader, and I'll sue you, lawyer man! Huh? Me? Yeah, you said, uh, you said you'd, uh, you'd, you'd abuse my leader. Um, I think you mean accuse. Same difference. Well, you can't have her. She's mine. 
It was me! I shot that doctor! Me! He led me to die, so I left him to die too! There in that park! W lucky Just cool down as you keep your hands off my leader, or I'll... T. T. He. He. Ha. 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 And I thought my jokes were bad. Mr. Uh, I'm sorry, I just... It's been so long since I've laughed so hard. Something funny? Walkie. Wake up and smell reality. Uh, Alita, baby! The signature on the chart, the engagement? I mean, come on! It's so obvious! Even for a brainless, spoiled brat such as yourself? Alita! Your honesty is like a breath of foul air, Fraulein. I wasn't getting out of this clean anyway. So, the family fortune is what you're really after? That's right. I wanted the money. No way! That's whack! I ain't trying to hear that. Should have done the wedding earlier. Oh well. By the way, can I ask you a question? Who? Me? I believe you said you were going to abuse me. <laughs> Accuse! Of what crime, might I ask? Huh? Oh, I'm a bad girl, sure. I got, I got close to that brat because I wanted his money. But he was the one with the pistol. He could have fired it into the safe after I'd already left the clinic. What? I would never do a thing like that. It was definitely that silly brat. Wait, but... What are you talking about? Tr Trity? You had the most to lose if that chart was found. But I didn't have a pistol, now did I? W well, you could have taken walkies. You'd think he'd had me mention that, no? All I've heard him say is, it was me, I shot him. Objection! That's only because he's trying to protect you. Sorry to intrude in this lovely conversation. <laughs> but the two of you are forgetting one critical point. What? What point? Certainly, the Fraulein wanted that chart. You assume she threatened the doctor into opening that safe, but then... Wouldn't she have taken the chart? Oh! You see, that chart wouldn't have been left in that safe. <coughs> he, he's were eight! Mr. Hello? Yes? It is clear to this court that you are not a very good fiancé. No, I'm flattered. Perhaps it's time you told us the truth? Tell us about yourself, including your actions and whereabouts on that day. Don't forget! We've proven that you were at the Maractus Clinic on the day of the crime. <sighs> okay. Now what? Yes, I went to the clinic that day to speak to the doctor. I wanted that chart, but I failed to get it. So I went back to the clinic early. <clears throat> so I went back to the clinic later. In any case, I didn't shoot him. You don't even have proof I stole that pistol, do you? And that brat was spotted in the park at the moment of the crime. Frankly, I don't think it matters if Dr. Maractus was shot in the temple or not. You went back later? That shot was dangerous, you understand. I needed to get rid of it. That's why I went... That's why I went that day. But you couldn't get the shot then, could you? And later that night, Dr. Maractus was shot. I heard about the shooting, waited a day, but then I had to go back. No easy feat with the cops all over the place. Ah! Th that was you? Thump. Ah, Apollo! That sound! It came from behind this door. Someone's in there! Whoa! A break-in! They left through that window! So, you were the burglar. That was you too? If only I had one more minute. Then I could have opened that safe and gotten the chart. What? That trespassing! And that brazen at that! Oh, is this a trial for trespassing now? Besides, you can't blame a girl for wanting to protect herself. They are gangsters, you know. In any case, Mr. Justice, your cross-examination. Admitting the little crime to avoid the big one, eh? Hmm. We'll see about that. Yes, I went to the clinic that day to speak to the doctor. 
Why that day? That Brad was uncontrollable. He was ready to kill. And that would bring in the police. And that chart would become evidence. And I'd be hung out to dry. Sniffle. But the police didn't check the safe, did they? Well, they thought the crime scene was the park. I'll make sure the responsible parties feel the heat. Such sloppiness won't be tolerated, yeah? I'm kinda thankful for that sloppiness myself, actually. I wanted that shot, but I failed to get it, so I went back to the clinic later. Later? When I heard what happened, well, I was too scared to do anything that day. So I waited until the day after. The, the 16th, was it? Of course, you and that meddling kid had to get in my way. Why did Dr. Moraptus keep that chart around? It was clearly dangerous for him. He could have burned it. Because he's a coward. The chart was his insurance. Insurance? I was going to show him that chart, to be more specific. That made sure I couldn't betray him. Alright, so you just, you've just given us motive. Thank you. In any case, I didn't shoot him. You don't even have proof I stole that pistol, do you? But you could have stolen it. Could have? Is this some new definition of proof? We'll ask Waki. He'll tell us. Objection. Might I remind you, this is a cross-examination. You might want to keep your base the serious to yourself. Mm He's right, isn't he? <laughs> the M -M That's a new one. And that brat was spotted in the park at the moment of the crime. Y yeah, but... Uh... But what? You have nothing to say. This case is over. It was over the moment that brat was seen in the park. What's the point in dragging it, dragging it out any further? Frankly, I don't think it matters if Dr. Maractus was shot in the temple or not. The doctor was shot in the right temple, yes. So it seems. Let's review the facts again, shall we? If the killer shot from this location, the bullet would have stuck our victim square in the forehead. However, the entry wound was in the right temple. Yes, we heard testimony on this yesterday. At the time of the shooting, the witness was standing here. Just before the gun was fired, he shouted. The victim turned his head to look and was shot. But that testimony was proven to be a lie. Our egregious penny snatcher, Mr. Stigler, did witness the crime, but he was standing to the north, next to the trash can where he tossed those pennies. Mr. Stickler shattered from this location, the bullet couldn't hit his right temple. Silly, silly attorney. Wh what? Do you remember what you had for breakfast that morning? Uh. Do you remember, Juicy? I always have a glass of milk for breakfast. What matters is one thing. The doctor was shot in his right temple. If that's the case, there can only be one explanation. The panties guy was mistaken. Objection! But his location was proven. You can't write that off as him being mistaken. Objection! Then why don't you show us her forehead? Show you what? Must I explain everything? Very well. Let's recap. If the witness, Panties Guy, was standing to the north, then where was the shooter standing? From what location did the killer shoot the victim? But wait! If the witness was standing there, how could anyone shoot the victim in the right temple? <laughs> I merely laid out the facts for us. It is up to the one possessing that shiny forehead to show us. If you can, that is. Waki Taki was standing at the killer mark, Wesley Stickler at the witness mark, and of course, Palmoractus was at the victim mark. Let's hear what the defense has to say. Where was the killer standing when they shot the victim? As the facts stand now, we can't explain this crime without contradicting ourselves at some point. But I know why. The real killer shot from an entirely different location. What are you talking about? I don't see any other place. A 
Apparently, Mr. Justice does. Let's hear it. Where in the park did the killer shoot the victim from? It's time to raise the roof and the stakes. Eh? Penalties are such frightening things, don't you think? But what if they were a bit more terrifying? Like so. D double penalty? Her forehead wishes to take us in a new direction. Then he must be ready for the challenges ahead. Challenge accepted. It's justice time. Uh, are you sure, Apollo? The key is the witness, Mrs. Tickler's testimony. If we believe that, and we know where he stood, and the victim turn w turned when he shouted, there's only one place the killer could have been. The killer shot the victim from... Here... I believe we all owe a debt of gratitude to Miss Alita Tayala. What do you mean? Thanks to you, we had a chance to review the crime. And this time, we were prepared. We know that Wizzly Stickler was telling the truth. We should have listened to him from the beginning. Wesley Stickler was standing next to the trash can when he saw the two men. He shouted just as he told us in his testimony. And the victim turned to look in his direction. A shot was fired. The victim was hit in the right temple. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. Which direction was his right temple facing at that moment? That's right, toward the noodle stand. Order, order, order! So you're saying, the, the killer was inside the noodle stand? Let's think about this a bit more, shall we? You say the killer was inside the noodle stand, which would mean the victim, Dr. Maractus, came to the park Wheeling his own murderer in the cart behind him. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I think you'd notice if you're pulling someone along. Objection. There's something we should worry about before that. Why was he pulling the noodle stand in the first place? Objection. Let's deal with our problems one at a, t a time, shall we? Someone was hiding in the stand. We have not come this far to talk about possibilities. Let's talk about proof, baby. Show us evidence that proves someone was in that stand. Can I prove that? You want evidence that someone was in that stand? <laughs> well, too bad. What do I have? What can we what can we use? The slippers? Oh yeah, the slippers. Yeah, sure. We can use it. Yeah, sure. It's worth a shot. Worth a shot. I've got it right here. Intriguing! Let's see what you've got. Show us proof that someone was hiding in the noodle stand. <laughs> sure. The Maractus Clinic. And they're covered with paint. These slippers were found in a trash can near the crime scene. And a single slipper print was found at the scene. Right next to the noodle stand. Oh, and Miss Tiala, your toe print was in was found in the left slipper. Irk. In other words, this is proof you were inside that noodle stand. Eek! Yet there was only one slipper mark found at the, found at the scene. Can this be called a footprint in good face? Observe the diagram. A park pathway runs right next to the slipper mark. A slipper wouldn't leave a trace on a cobblestone path. Objection. Yet you still cannot say this is a footprint, yeah? Why not? You have an impression left by a single slipper. What if it what if it was on the stand and simply fell to the ground? Objection. That's that's just dumb. One more thing. A noodle stand is typically cluttered with the tours of the noodle making trade. There's no room for a person to ride in there. Mmm, you have a point. 
Could someone have hidden in that stand? Apollo, I think I might be on something. I think I figured out one of our... I think I figured out one of our pieces of evidence. In order to make room in the stand, some things would have to be... Well, Mr. Jason, do you have proof that someone could have hidden in the stand? I can prove one thing. Someone did scheme to clear space in that stand. Um... Someone did scheme. <clears throat> um, someone did scheme to clear space in that stand by th oh, by th throwing out all the bowls, maybe. This is a noodle bowl from the stolen Eldune's Noodles Noodle Stand. Yes, and what about it? We discovered a large quantity of these bowls yesterday. In the lobby of the Moractus Clinic. <laughs> a large quantity of noodle bowls in the victim's clinic? I say Eldune was very clear about those bowls. Well, I don't care who did it. That that sand, I'm finished. All my noodle bowls were in there too. Yet the bowls were removed. That night, there was space inside that noodle stand. Space created at the Maractus Clinic, no less. Right around the time that you were there, Miss Alita Tiawa. Stop! I won't listen to any more of these wild fantasies. No, not fantasies. The worst lies not spoiled Brad's pickup lines. I would like to remind the witness of her current status. This court does not consider you entirely innocent. Show me an innocent. I'll show you a fairy tale. In any case, the defense has somehow made its point. The witness had both a motive and an opportunity to kill Dr. Moractus. More fairy tales. This whole trial is a fairy tale. And then please pull us back down to reality, Miss Tiala. I'm giving you one last chance to explain yourself. This is it. Why was Dr. Moractus pulling that stand that night? And what was Alita Tiella doing inside it? Time to get to the bottom of this case. Hmm. Okay. Can't wait to hear this. That night, I went to ask Dr. Moractus for the chart. I had no intention of ever letting that chart fall into the Kitaki family's hands. But Dr. Moragdus didn't understand. For some reason, he thought the Kitakis had sent me. So I gave up and went home. All I did was talk to him. What? What about... <clears throat> you knew about the botched operation? So you tried to get rid of the chart to save yourself? I won't make excuses. And I did warn the good doctor. I gave him a chance. I told him that Brat got his health checkup report. And that he was coming to settle the score. Hmm, I see. Very well, Mr. Justice, begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. This is the last testimony. Either I perceive the truth, or it's over. Okay. That night, I went... Uh, actually, okay. Just in case. <clears throat> that night, I went to ask Dr. Moratus for the chart. So, you did go to, s to steal that chart. Were you listening? I said I asked him for it. The victim was a man in good health. I don't see how she could have coerced him. True, it would have been impossible if he had a pistol. But what if she did have a pistol? I'll admit I wanted the chart. That much is true. My reason was simple. I had no intention of ever letting that chart fall into the Kitaki family's hands. It certainly would have put a damper on your wedding plans, I'd say. Not only that, if the Kitakis had gotten the, that chart, I'd probably be with Dr. Maractus now, pulling that great noodle stand in the sky. It seems our witness was in a fix as well. 
who would want to die pulling a noodle stand? When I die, it will be by disappearing mysteriously in the middle of a magic act. Can we be a little less morbid, please? So you see, I needed that shot. But Dr. Moratus didn't understand. He did understand. He wouldn't listen to a word I was saying. The moment he saw me, he started to tremble. <laughs> I thought, what a sad excuse for a man. Please don't smile like that anymore. It's creepy. He was practically delusional. For some reason, he thought the Katakis had sent me. They sent you? He thought the Katakis had sent me to get the child. Makes some sense. You are their son's fiance. Don't make me laugh. The guitar keys sent me. Let her play that way. If they'd known about that chart, they would have gone gone in there with guns blazing. But I couldn't convince the trembling doctor otherwise. So I gave up and went home. All I did was talk to him. If that was really all that happened, what were all those noodle balls doing there? How should I know? There weren't any bulls when I went, I know that much. Why don't you let me be and go look for your killer someplace else, alright? Do I detect uncertainty there? This is my last chance. Apollo, any word from your bracelet? Yeah, actually. I felt it respond. I couldn't see a thing. It's up to you, Apollo. Time to perceive the truth. Here comes justice. Okay. Is it gonna be... Is it gonna be another habit? I didn't see her fiddle with the ring. Let's see. Where do we look this time? Oh, she's fiddling with her uh, her neckerchief thing. Gotcha. I see it. All I did was talk and lie. What? Show me proof. I'm pretty sure about this one. I think I'm getting the hang of this. A little slip in confidence and they give it all away. The proof is you, Miss Tiala. All I did was talk to him, you claim. Yeah, you can't hide your own nervous twitch when you say those words. My twitch? What are you talking about? You have a habit of scratching the area of your neck around the edge of your scarf. What? 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 This is working better than I'd hoped. Her unconscious actions tell the truth she won't say. Habits and lies. Two dots. Connect the dots and find the truth. Don't look at, look at me like that. I, I told you the tr truth. Seems that when you recall what really happened in that office, you can't keep your hands off your neck, can you? <laughs> hmm, it seems that nervous habits are unconscious reactions that manifest when someone is trying to hide something. You can't hide behind your scarf, Miss Ciala. Something happened between you and the victim in the Miraculous Clinic office. And I've got proof that shows exactly what happened. Well, the only thing left that we haven't used yet is this. Take that! Wh what's that? You're touching your scarf again. <laughs> there's something unusual about this lamp. The bulb is broken, and there's a red splotch on the cord. Eh? Seeing how you hide your neck. I think I can come up with a plausible explanation for the lamp's state. Well, spit it out! This talking in circles nonsense is killing me! Very well. The answer is very simple. Miss Alita Tiala, please remove your scarf!
This is a try to determine what happened in that park, yet we seem to have dif drifted off target. We'll find out soon enough if we're drifting, as soon as the witness removes her scarf. I... I won't do it. This is insane. I'm a, uh, an unrelated third party. You can't order me to remove my clothing. Estiella, I'm afraid you've forgotten what's already been proven. What? You're hardly unrelated. Please remove your scarf. No. No! I knew it. So I was right, wasn't I, Miss Yala? Alita Tiala? Your neck. That isn't what I think it is. Oh. Your neck? That isn't what I think it is. Something did happen that night at the Moractus Clinic. You needed to get that chart back no matter what it took. Even if you had to steal your fiancé's pistol to do it. B but wait! Looking at this lamp and the witness's neck... Looks like the very opposite happened. Exactly. The victim in the clinic that night was this witness. Specifically, you tried to threaten Dr. Maractus and he attacked you. That's what happened that night at the Maractus clinic. Uh, uh, Order! 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 Someone please tell me what really happened! I told you the truth, though, Andy. I went to the clinic that night to warn Dr. Maractus. That gangster knows everything. He's coming for you. Looks like my clinic's seen it. Slice patient. We have to get rid of that chart. Quick, open up, open your safe. Give it to me! So you can save your own skin. What? I know you're, what you're up to. You aren't here with the family. And if they see that chart, you're finished. <coughs> Leaving me out in the short straw. But if I'm going down, I want some company. You! And what happened next? He jumped at me and knocked me to the floor. Then he took that cord. Pal Maractus was serious, deadly serious. He really tried to strangle me. I... I must have blacked out. So, you were the victim. And the red splotch on the cord was your lipstick. I... I didn't want to remember that night. That's why I didn't bring it up. There. Are you happy now? Eh? I was out cold. Almost killed. You claim I then snuck into that noodle stand? But how could I? Well, one thing is clear. We know now what really happened at the Maractus Clinic. And it would seem that our victim was not entirely without blame himself. I... I'm sorry. I get so nervous just thinking thinking of it. It's hard to breathe. I've told you everything. Can I go home now? Hmm. You bear some responsibility for events that day, true. Yet, if you were also a victim, this court would owe you some sympathy. Well, Mr. Justice? I believe this clears up the remaining questions for Mr. Yala. When did this happen? Sadly, out for one sympathizing with her. I don't know what to think anymore, Apollo. I mean, is that it? Do we know everything we need to know about Mr. Yala? Very well. This finishes the cross examination of this. <laughs> Not so fast. This party is just getting started. Now we rock. Wh what? So spikes on your head are softer than they look, or do you not have the stomach to go all the way? Prosecutor Gavin? Pamaractus choked Alita Tiala. She fell unconscious. But what happened next? 
He's right. There is more we don't know. But she was choked hard enough to leave that mark. She would have been out for a while. Even still, what if it was her in that noodle stand? <laughs> Lita Tiala, half dead. Dr. Murat is pulling that stand? And a bullet fired from inside the noodle stand? What if it's all true? We might have already figured out what truly happened that night. Mrs. Alita Tiala, as you can see, we're not through with you just yet. You really want to blame me for this murder, don't you? You too, Prosecutor Gavin? Me? Fraulein, I really wish to know the truth. Well, let's go back over what we've learned up till now. On the, on the day of the murder, Walkie saw his checkup report, from which he learned about the bullet still inside him. So he took a pistol from the family stash, with the intent to give Dr. Morak to some of his own medicine. And Miss Tiala heard about this from Walkie, so she went to the Moractus clinic ahead of him, in order to get rid of the chart with her, with her signature. But then, something happened. Sounds like you figured it all out. But remember, I was the victim. I was out cold. But what about Dr. Moractus? So that does seem to be the problem. He had just strangled the little Tiala. Perhaps he thought to death. What did he do after his crime? I was just knocked out. Not dead. From the state of his clinic and the scene in the park, I think it's clear what the good doctor did next. Well, her forehead, care to guess? <coughs> well, Mr. Justice, what did Maractus do? Maybe he did think he killed Alita Tiala. Do I have evidence to show what he did next? The... Huh. What's left? Pistol? He wiped the pistol? I, I don't know. What do we... What do we present? The bullet? I don't know. This evidence shows what he did next. Shows what, half I had. Your smile has a sort of sick desperation to it, Mr. Justice. What, this smile? Let's try again, shall we? Well, Mr. Justice, what did Dr. Maractus do? Maybe he did think he killed Alita Tiala. Do I have evidence to show what he did next? The... Uh... Stand? As his next move, Dr. Maractus stole Guy Aldoon's noodle stand. Oh, that, to hide the corpse. Of course. What? Killing me disturbed him that much? So much he randomly stole a noodle stand? It wasn't so random. Remember all the bowls in the clinic's foyer? Right. Bowls that belonged inside that stand? I think it's pretty obvious, don't you? That stand was at the clinic. However, the question is, why did he remove the bowls? Maybe because the stand was heavy. Or he wanted to put something in, in the stand in their place. Oh! Wait, you don't mean... I do. Dr. Moractus did replace those bowls with something. Your corpse, Miss Tiala. My corpse? Dr. Moractus panicked. He thought he killed you. His next move would be to dispose of the body. Th that's crazy talk. You're all crazy. Then let's think about it logically. 
The doctor had a place to dispose of you in mind. But on his way there, who should he run into but the defendant, Waki Kitagi? I question your logic. What's this, Prosecutor Gavin? The park is a dead end. Why would he head in that direction to begin with? That's right. He had no reason to go there. Oh, now I get it. It was a trick. That spoiled Brad made him do it. He made the doctor steal the stand. Tell me, why would someone go to a dead end? Unless the park was his destination. Wh what? Apparently, the defense has an idea. Tell us where Dr. Moractus was heading with the stand. Here, please show us on this diagram. To where exactly was the victim dragging that stand? There? That's a... a river! Yes, Your Honor. I scarcely need to explain why. A perfect place to dispose of a body. He was going to throw him into that river? He didn't have many other options, Fraulein. <coughs> I believe this clears up all of the remaining questions. The victim pulling the stand and the defendant before him. And inside the stand, you, Miss Alita Tiala. <coughs> and then, that denouement. Wesley Stickler of Penny Snatching Fame walks up. Seeing the two men, he shouts. In that instant, So, I shot him. You were the only one who could have stolen Waki's pistol. It had to be you. Well, Mr. Yolo? Hmm. <laughs> nice work. You mean, I'm right? I mean, you've done a fine job dreaming up a story. To get that spoiled brat off the hook. You're the one who's dreaming. Apollo's backed up everything he said with facts. If you're so sure he's making it up, give us another reason. Why was Dr. Moractus pulling that stand through the park? Who knows? But there is one gaping hole in your logic. I think Mr. Gavin knows whereof I speak. Whereof what? I can't believe she's still trying to deny this. Is this true, Prosecutor Gavin? <laughs> so I always be the one to point out her forehead's errors. <laughs> Ack, maybe there is something. I believe the Fraulein speaks of her doctor's car. His car? That's right. The Moractus Clinic has that big garage. In which set? A green sports car, was it? Why would he steal the stand in the first place? If he wanted to carry a body, he would have used his car. Huh? And so we find our victim with that probable cause to steal that stand. And our defense without a case. Um. I have an idea. You know that green car. I bet it wouldn't run. It was broken. Ah, <laughs> what an excellent car to argument, Fraulein. Too bad you're quite wrong. Eh? Don't tell me you've forgotten what happened to your daddy. D daddy? D that's right. That night, the car that hit Mr. Wright was that green sports car. Oh yes, I I'd really forgotten about it. Afterward, he drove it back to that garage. It ran fine. That's right. So why didn't he use his beloved sports car, hmm? <laughs> A glaring contradiction, to be sure. More glaring than your forehead. No. No! Order! 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 Well, Mr. Justice, why didn't Dr. Moratus use his car to carry the body? Uh... Um, is that a groan of surrender I hear? Some advice. Now is a good time to review all you know. Everything you have learned over the last two days. Everything I have learned? Mr. Mr. Justice, this contradiction cast out on your entire case. This is surely your last chance. The defense will explain to us what happened that night. Hmm. 
you know what? I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to think about this some more and I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back everyone. Seems to be the last last hole we need to plug, uh, so to speak. What happened that night? Did someone else steal the stand? Doesn't make sense. The card didn't run? We've already proved that it could. You carry the body in the car? That wouldn't make sense either. We've already disproven that the car can't run. Is I was gonna say that he he didn't use the car because because it was recently involved in a hit and run, so he didn't want to be driving around in a car that was, you know, if there were any witnesses, then then people would be like, hey, that's that's the car that just hit that guy. So you know, but it's not. It's not an option that is available, so... Okay, here's what, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say the car didn't run, and as evidence, evidence to that is the fact that the the cell phone that was left behind didn't get smushed, which is something we've already proven in yesterday's trial, so let's give it a shot. I have an idea. It's all coming together. That night, Dr. Moractus couldn't use his car. Huh, now you're making even less sense than usual. Not according to my infor information, Mr. Yala. Put one, one, put one and one together, and the explanation is simple. If it is so simple, perhaps you can show us some evidence. Show us proof why the car wouldn't run that night. This is proof of why the car broke down that night? Well, Prosecutor Gavin? Ah, uh, it's proof of a malfunction, alright. A malfunction in her forehead's brain. The court accepts this evidence. Ah, uh, very funny, guys. Mr. Justice, you will need your you will mend your malfunction and present evidence that makes sense. She will prove why the car wouldn't run that night. Okay. We're on the right track apparently, but uh Oh Tracy's pan Tracy's panties were stuffed in the exhaust pipe. Oh my god. Let's see now. Panties? Again? <laughs> All sorts of things come out of my panties. Even the truth. Another crime was committed the night of the murder. The theft of these panties. The ladies in a string of similar thefts, actually. But that night, the snatcher was caught in the act. A brave young girl chased the thief until he hid. In the Moractus Clinic garage. Wh what? The snatcher hit the panties there before running. Perhaps someone in this court remembers where he hit them? Why, weren't they found in the car's exhaust pipe? Exactly. By the way, I learned something yesterday. A very important piece of information. And I learned it from you, Prosecutor Gavin. Oh, yeah. Um, so we were here investigating? And I was on my way home, when my hog gave up the ghost. Your hog? My motorcycle won't start, a clogged exhaust pipe. Too bad. It looks like such a nice bike, too. Hard to believe that it could break just from that. Cars, motorbikes, they're all the same. Clog the exhaust and they won't run. My, how interesting. While Miss Tiala and the doctor were struggling, the panty snatcher snuck into the Moractus garage. From that time until the time we found these, that car wouldn't start. Wh what? That's why Dr. Moractus had to use the noodle stand. It was the next close It was the next closest thing he could think of.
Well, Miss Tiala, this wraps your doubts up quite nicely, I think. So it does. Where... Where am I? So dark. Can't see. Cramped. The pain. <coughs> My throat's burning. Wh what's your problem? You, Doc! I know what you did! Ha. Uh... uh. Walkie? You lied to me, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine, man! Wait, uh, let me explain. F fine, uh, I'll give you your last request. Listen, you're being tricked, but not how you think. It's not just me. No, he ruined everything. I have to stop him. This is you, you too. Hey, who's that? Oh, that's what happened. Funny, this isn't the way it was supposed to turn out. Oh well, too bad. There's still one mystery. How did you manage to disappear from that start? In the silence after the shot, I heard the witness running. I believe we heard as much from Wesley Stickler. He went to use a public phone to inform the police. Which is when I made my escape. Which is when you left that slipper print. Dr. Moretus didn't bother taking my slippers off. I threw them out after I stepped in that paint, though. That was your mistake. No, my biggest mistake was coming to you for help, Mr. Justice. Eh? I believed in you. You're on your anything agency. If anyone would get walkie declared guilty, it was you. <laughs> I believe we've reached a conclusion of sorts. Prosecutor Gavin, how is Miss Alice? How is Miss Alida Diola doing? She has confessed to everything. We are processing her arrest now. Prosecutor Gavin sure seems calm for someone who just lost. I think he already knew. He'd figured out he'd figured out she was the killer a while ago. Some advice. Now is a good time to review all you know. Everything you've learned over the last two days. He lost, but I didn't exactly win either. Hmm? Something's the matter here, forehead. Looks like it's time to announce a verdict. Not guilty. Court is adjourned. Good news is, you're guilty. Bad news is, you're gonna be alone. So, eh, well, you can't win them all, right? You win some, you lose some. Great job, Apollo. You did it. Yeah, we did, somehow. Walk is off the hook. Free to become the gangster it's always wanted to be. And he has you to fa- Hey, attorney man! You're gonna pay for what you did to my leader, Holmes! Or to blame, I guess. You get my leader back! Stupid point ahead attorney with a death wish! Enough, Floki! Uh, uh, Mr. Kitagi! It's high time you opened your eyes, Waki. What do you know, old man? I think it's bad time you open yours! Giving up the life, trying to become some kind of businessman? Don't talk about what you don't understand, Waki! I'm afraid the guard is going to throw them both out. If not in jail, wouldn't that be a happy ending? Hey, maybe we can help them out. We know why Mr. Kitaki needs to make so much money. Maybe we should tell Waki. Oh, Waki, Apollo has something to tell you. Huh? I do? Way to put me on the spot. Eh? What's that? Show him the reason why, Apollo. Why is Mr. Kitaki trying to 
become a businessman? Um, I don't remember. Shiv? Noodles? Bloomers? I don't know, why is he be trying I don't know because because his son is dying. I don't know. Maybe. Think about it, Waki. Think about your condition. <laughs> I talked with your mother, Little Plum, yesterday. It fails. We need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. She doesn't mean you aren't really, are you? I searched the globe, and I found the one. A doctor who can take another bullet out of you, Waki. But it's an expensive procedure. Man, but, but you got plenty of money already, don't you? I won't use it. <laughs> it was the gangster life that did this to you, Waki. I want to help you, and I want to do it clean. Please understand, Waki. <laughs> Dead. Man, I see how it is, old man. Always you looking out for, out for, Waki. Let's go, old man. One day, one day, I'm gonna take you out. Then we'll see who's the OG. You trying to hide in your business suit, I'll find you! Stupid old geezer! My! Waki! No, it's as it should be! Mr. Kitaki? I liked you more without the puppy dog eyes! <laughs> I'm glad to have met you! I am not so good with words! But I know I'll profess a new job when I see you! Thank you! Oh, me? I don't think... Someday... Ah... Uh, I'll make you one of our latest. Lucky Taki, I'm a pie. He's opening a pie shop? So long. Sayonara. And he was gone. Well, let's head back, Apollo. To the Right Anything Agency. Hey, since when do I work at your agency? Oh, we make a good team. Don't just stand there, let's get going. Huh? Eh, why not? She did help me out. And there is a few questions that still need answers. Like this power of mine that she showed me. And my bracelet. If anyone can help me figure it out, it's her. Now I can't say I care much for what her father has become. Oh, that's right. We have to go someplace first. Huh? Where? Why, to claim our reward for Mr. Aldoon. Ah, Salty Noodles. Right. He got his sandbag already? Oh, and after that, you can come see my show. With a special appearance by the Mr. By the amazing Mr. Hat. Oh, it's special, alright. Please. Anything but him. The end.